My name is Angela Bruce and I play Brigadier Bambera. Brigadier Bambera was first seen in 1989 in the episode of Battlefield. I decided was, well, looking at how the scripts were written, was strong, vibrant, sure of herself, very much, la very loud, which what I, I really liked about her. And I have such clear memories of that story and the cliffhangers and everything else. But also Brigadier Bambera, because weirdly, the fact she had a catchphrase, which was basically, oh, shame, as a kid, was the funniest thing in the world and just made me instantly love the character. And, you know, she really sort of held her own against people like Brigadier Lethbridge Stewart, but also the, the bickering with Anselin. She, you know, she was a really memorable part of a double act there also can just stand on her own two feet really brilliantly. And it's great to see that in these scripts as well. Brigadier Bambera is a character who is extremely deserving of her own spin-off series. It's unbelievable that it hasn't happened before now. But finally, we're using this opportunity to explore what Unit might have been like had she been in charge. And that's where we pick up her character at the beginning of this new series. She is asked to be the new head of UNIT and it's not a role that she wants. Her superiors want her to take it. She's very cynical at, at the point that we meet her. And I think she's beginning to think, well, that's it. I, I actually think I'm going to quit now and, and, and just stop. And that's a very interesting point to start because I've never actually seen her be so reflective as a character in that way of saying no that's it I think we need new blood now we need someone else to take over I think because she's seen a lot of a lot of comrades die mm. she's lost so many of her own team but she she's encouraged to take the role and become head of the unit that Brigadier Lethbridge Stewart was once in charge of and the lovely thing Big Finish does is find those stories with those sort of really memorable characters and give them new life on audio and obviously unit is a world in and of itself and so it sort of makes sense to go back and look at those significant figures and who actually we should have had more screen time with and it's really nice to take these stories and see what Bambera was up to in the 1990s. Setting this series in the 1990s was really exciting actually because it's that in between period, the wilderness years where not much is going on with Doctor Who. So when we were mapping out the series we looked at everything that had happened with UNIT before and obviously we know what was to come with UNIT once the series returned and sort of wondering what might have happened in that in between time when we didn't see any UNIT adventures on telly. Angela Bruce as um, Brigadier Bambera is just incredible. It's a joy. It's such a, a joy to work with her. I'm really lucky. And having this spin-off, it's so wonderful for all the fans and it's something we've been really looking forward to and we've had such a good time in studio. It's so good to be able to be back working in studio with people again. For me, it wasn't a difficulty just slipping back into it because the writing is so good. The writing is so urgent. They're, in these episodes, they're so pacey and it just reminds you of the energy I had at that age, you know, to push forward and actually do everything again. So it was, for me, it was just a tonic and a reminder of the energy that I had. I've had long conversations with um, our composer and sound designer about how we can make this sound really 90s and distinct. So I'm really excited for how it's all going to come together in terms of the, the sound and the performances as well. Our cast is brilliant. We've got some nice supporting characters also coming in to join Bambera, uh, one of whom is Dame Lydia Kingsley, played by the brilliant Liz Sutherland Lim. She's a really fascinating character. She's a lady in charge who can come across as um, perhaps a little cold, but she's very focused. And the mission and unit is, is everything to her. Brigadier Bambera is initially quite reluctant to take on the post as head of unit, but her superior, Dame Lydia Kingsley, is the one that's talking her around to, to get her to take on the job. I think she's a brilliant character. I really love how our writers have written her. She's certainly been brought to life in the way that I imagined when we were first coming up with the premise for the series. We knew we wanted her 
a character like her and Liz has brought her to life just perfectly it was so exciting to see and hear her in studio and I just thought yes you've you've nailed that character and obviously Brigadier Lethbridge Stewart on TV had his own team and Bambera has her own and very quickly finds you know her supporting sergeant in uh, Jean-Paul Savarin played by Alex Jordan who is a fantastic voice artist. I love working with him. I've always been familiar with the Doctor Who universe. I knew what I was walking into. I've done Big Finish in the past and grew up watching Doctor Who. So I'm familiar with the sort of the the environment and the world in which they inhabit. So I knew what I was walking into, but for Savarin himself, I kind of felt like he came quite naturally. I enjoyed the sort of the sarcasm and the kind of the delivery of sort of little quips and things like that. Savarin's just got a lovely sort of dry sense of humour that plays off Bambera really well. He's got his own personality and he's got his own confidence. And you think at first this is not going to gel, yet she really appreciates and wants him there. But also because the character's French, um, you know, Alex is a master of not only accents, but languages as well. So I was very keen to find someone who uh, could speak French fluently so that it is authentic. And uh, he's doing the character justice, but also throwing in lots of lovely tweaks where... He'll put a spin on a line that's written and suddenly translate it into French. I grew up sort of with a with a mum who spoke French, so I, I kind of I felt very comfortable just stepping into the to the role and then and, and dropping in with the French lines um, and kind of going through and maybe making a few notes and going oh, maybe we could chuck in a little bit of French there, you know, bits and pieces like that. I love working with Big Finish because they always give me the most interesting, challenging characters. A lot of time I won't get to play these sort of characters um, on screen, um, but Big Finish always thinking outside the box and they cast really interestingly, so I get opportunities to play characters that I would never normally get the chance to. And um, Scott is a sweetheart and wonderful to work with, so yeah, I adore Big Finish. I'm very lucky to work with them. I love it. I always have a good time here. I always enjoy the people that they bring here to work with. It's fantastic. It's really exciting to just be creative and, and play with it. And it feels like untapped territory, but Unit in the 90s has been incredibly exciting to bring to life. I think it's going to be an incredibly exciting, fan-pleasing release. I think it works because it progresses through and it leaves you on a cliffhanger. I like it. That we really don't know. I've looked at episode three and think to myself, ah, I didn't know that. Okay, what's going to happen next? I like that. <laughs>